How's it going? Welcome on into a follow-up video on the Pro Sender. And if you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend checking it out. So that way you can see my first initial honest reactions on what the Pro Sender could do for me and what I was hoping to get out of it. That was a very uh, great first step for me in the Pro Sender. And before I continue, I just want you to know something. Like I am not an ambassador for the Pro Sender. I'm not paid by the Pro Sender or the people who create the Pro Sender, that is. Like, this is just purely an amateur golfer who thought that the Pro Sender was something that could really help elevate my game. So it's something that I decided to invest in my personal self. So just want to caveat that this is a 100% purely honest review of just a regular person who bought this without any marketing or anything like that. This is just, just my personal opinion and my honest review. So... Definitely go check out that first initial video. I highly recommend that. And if you're kind of, this is the first one that you're seeing and you're not going to see that one. Well, this is the Pro Sender. So essentially it is a little device that you wear on your right hand if you are a right-handed swinger and you'd wear on your left hand if you are a left-handed swinger. And essentially it creates a impact position for your golf swing to help you compress the ball, to stay on plane, to shallow the club properly. And you pretty much don't have to uh, do anything other than like you have to be the one putting your hand in the actual pro sender and then feel it it's not like one of those aids and it's something that's a reason why i love this aid is it's not one of those aids where it just like puts you there where you actually um are not really responsible for the work it's kind of just like you're just training your muscles this one you have to do it and if you don't get your hand into the pro sender then um, you're, you're not going to get the benefits out of it and you, ha and you have to train yourself and teach yourself. And what is really good about it is, is it gives you a real life feel for what you want to take to the golf course because you are building the muscle memory based off of what your feels are. And I'll, I'll talk about what my feels were as well. And something that really helped me, but this is the pro sender. I know there is one on Amazon and I will just start off this by saying right now, I highly recommend not buying the one on Amazon. Now, Normally, I'm somebody who likes tr golf training aids, and I would be like, yeah, just go get the cheaper version on Amazon, but this one is built a specific way in which it has to align your hand perfectly, and if you get a cheaper one on Amazon, um, it's it might not have like the exact perfect like dimensions, the perfect wrist bend, the perfect angles. Like, There's a lot of thought and engineering that goes into this little... I know it may feel like a very cheap plastic device, but there's a lot of thought and actual mechanics that go into this. And if you get one on Amazon, the materials might not be as pliable um, or they might be more pliable and they might just bend. And the next thing you know, you're training something and you're like, this doesn't really work for me. And it's all because you got a product that just doesn't have the materials that could withstand it. So if this is something that you're really interested in, I highly recommend like investing the money. It's not something that's just going to deteriorate in over time. I've had it for over a year now and it looks brand new. I still got the carry on bag as well. Like it, it's, it's all just pretty much um, very well worth the actual money there on that aspect. Now um, you obviously can tell here on the site, like it's used by a lot of pro tour players right now. Like, Cameron Champ's obviously one of the bigger ones, but you see a lot of people using it. Nelly's using it. Like, uh, there's a lot of people on tour who are using it right now, and it's it's just really simple. It's just a little Velcro, little spot right in your wrist, and then you pretty much go through. So, uh, let's kind of like dive into the actual results here. Now I'm one year in, so just a little over one year in, and I've seen tr like dramatic, dramatic changes in my golf game. I've seen dramatic changes in consistency. So let's kind of dive on into that here. Now, um, if you just want to recap real quick, this is like how easy it is to put it on. So like you can you can literally just put it on and you just wrap it right around your right wrist. And this is an older video, so obviously things it's not winter time right now here, here where I'm at. But you just wrap it right around your wrist. You feel like it's right in your cradle there. And then you can just Velcro the ball right to it. It's that it's really that simple. And then you just grab a club and you're you're there to go. So it's a device that you don't have to add it to a club. You don't have to add it to other things. Like you don't have to do all of these extraordinary things to get it on. You can literally plug and play within a matter of seconds. And that's something that I absolutely love. Sometimes it takes a while to get the aids on the clubs or on your body, whatever you're using. This is literally just plug, play, and then go. And then you're starting to feel it and then you can swing. So that's pretty much how it goes about that. 
Now let's go into the actual results here, right? So here's three of my swings, and I'm just going to do a little loop here for you so that way you can see it. And in these three swings, you can start off on the left. So the first one is before I ever used the Pro Sender, what my swing was, I used to struggle with compression. I had a pretty good move through the ball, but I was always very steep, and I would always, always hit it high, hit it right, um, and I was just super steep all the time. In the middle move, this is right the next day after I got the Pro Sender. I went out back on the range. I used it for about an hour or so, and then this were the results after just one range session here. So you can see I'm definitely um, moving. I'm compressing the ball a little bit, and we're going to get into a more defined actual results as well. And I'm trying to go in as depth as possible just so that way you can see like this is a, a worthwhile like time that I put into this actual device. It's not like I just threw it away after like one second or so and just making a review. And then the last one on the right, you can see my swing now um, of where I am and how I'm rotating very freely through the ball and really compressing divots. So let's kind of like talk about the positions now. So like the three main positions that you want to be in. So at the top, you can see all the way on the left, I was very much so across the plane. This always caused me to be very steep. This caused me to be very um, like hit it high, hit it heel balls. I just didn't compress the ball. I was always very across the line, very cupped, not very cupped, but like slightly cupped left wrist. And the middle one, you can see here, I started to straighten it out. I'm a little bit more towards the target, but still not. And that was only just after one range use. It started to get me more of like that flat wrist that you're looking for in order to compress the ball. And now if you look at the one all the way on the right, this is me today. This is me when I'm swinging today. You can see I am very much so pointing right down my target. I am very much so on plane. I have a very flat, perfectly neutral uh, left wrist there. And it is so much better than where I was a year ago. And it is just consistency has gone through the roof when it has come to that. Now let's go to the second position is the impact position here. So on the left, you can see uh, the club was in line with my hands there, and that's all about like compression. They say shaftling, right? Shaftling, shaftling, shaftling is all about how you compress the golf ball. Well, that one on the left side, I had no compression. I literally was not compressing the ball because that was so steep and I was always saving my shots. Where in the middle, you can see just after a single day, I got the club head right behind my hands there where I actually could rotate through the golf ball a little bit better. I was still a little bit struggly, but um, I could definitely rotate the golf ball. And then if you go all the way today, you can see just how far um, I've come. And the club head is in behind my right elbow now where that is so I have so much shaft lean. I compress the ball as if I'm feeling like a tour pro. I don't know to the levels of, but um, I compress the ball. I'm on plane and I rotate so easily through the golf ball now. It has been a absolutely amazing feeling to be able to just rotate so freely through a golf ball because I have the club in a position where I can rotate. Yeah, so let's talk about just the last one here and uh, wrap up this video. So you can see here the, the three finishing positions that I have here. The one on the left, I was always very, you know, very handsy, very flippy. I had a nice finishing hold, but I didn't rotate as much as I want. You can just see that. Um, in the back position, my back is not as rotated as the middle. Um, and the middle one was right after using the Pro Sender the first time around. You can see I have a lot more rotation. Now I've been able to combo both of them. I have a lot of rotation. I've finished strong, hard on my left leg. And I've had that nice finishing hold position where the club actually just kind of like whips around me. And I no longer have to feel like I'm putting it in a finishing position. The club just naturally falls into that position, which is... Um, pretty pretty amazing stuff, and that's something that I, I really appreciate there. And so uh, just to kind of like recap this video here, I, I just wanted to say like this is my swing now. You can uh, – I'm not afraid to, to show it or any of that stuff. Like you guys can – you guys can see it. I will caveat by saying something here. Um, one struggle that I did have, uh, I, I got a little bit uh, – laid off and if you know golf terms you, you know like it means that uh when you first take it away you're a little bit too too flat in your takeaway that was an issue that i did have and it's something that i'm still trying to like fight back that this caused because one of the big things are 
you really want to get your hand in it right away. And that's kind of like one of the protocols that they look at. And it caused me to get a little bit laid off, but that was more on me, not, you know, doing quality ch control checks of like staying on top of the videos and making sure that I was like being on plane type ordeal. So that is something just to just to be aware of, but uh, it's something that I fix now and I'm still continuing to fix. And now that I film my swing a lot more, but I hope this video helps. Please leave a comment down below. Feel free to leave whatever you want in the comments and I'll answer them based off of my personal experiences. Um, but overall, this is a five star, five star review of this product. And like I said, I have no affiliation to, to ProSender other than the fact is that they've really helped my golf game out. Um, I've dropped down to a three handicap and it is absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm playing some of the best golf of my entire life and it, it's a really a big thanks to the pro sender there. So um, hope this helps. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I appreciate you all. Have a great day.